Minor Poison Control might be nerfed in the next couple of days. This at least my opinion. I think soon with the Cash update, it will also most likely with the balance change coming. So you need to use it now. This will be your last chance and it's an absolutely incredible deck. So if you guys want to get some easy medals, some easy grand challenge wins, use it now after you see the video today. We're going to go like once again over this deck. What makes it so strong? Why you should use it? Are you? This is my favorite version of the Wall Breaker, the Mighty Miner. If you guys don't have the Mighty Miner, use the Knight <laughs> instead. But this deck, it's absolutely busted and you can win almost every single matchup in Clash Royale. If you guys enjoyed this type of content, make sure to subscribe, make sure to use Critical Mode in the shop and also let me know if we're taking a look at the balance change which will come soon in Clash Royale, what would be the best changes for this deck? Is it the Poison nerf? Is it the Miner nerf? This is just like the Mighty Miner 2 broken. Is it the Goblins or Archers? Let me know in the comment section. I would say let's dive jump into the games. Going to game number one versus Bosk. So good luck to him and I need, need to say, yeah, this deck, it's one of my favorite decks of all time, but also getting annoyed of it. So, okay, interesting, he plays just a tombstone, so I'm just gonna go for my Mighty Miner. Mighty Miner! And he just drops his Mighty Miner in the back. Okay. So I guess I could lock this, but most likely the archers are gonna finish it off anyway. So I guess I'm just gonna go for the wall breaker here. And even if he uses the ability, I mean, he still needs to defend my Mighty, so this is cool. Yep, okay, I'm just gonna use my ability here. I'm just gonna go for my Miner here. So this is completely okay. He kind of committed there a lot. The Miner will get some decent amount of chip damage and this is just the main thing, right? You want to get some Miner damage on the tower for most likely also what I really like to do, like letting the Mighty Miner tank, but also triple. What I like, what is like really good about this deck in triple is um, most of the time you just honestly go in for the, um, I'm just gonna go for defensive wall here, maybe to distract some there. Um, what I really like to do with this deck in triple is just going it for the Mighty Mine in the back just to activate the free card cycle. When you have the free card cycle on the map, just straight up like minor poison. You can even go poison on a naked on a naked tower. This is what like the best players are doing right now. They're just gonna go poison on top of a, I don't know, like one one archer, um going poison on top of a golden knight or something, like something would but what doesn't really make sense, right? So the he got some damage with the graveyard early on, but I'm still pretty feeling really confident we're winning this. Um I might just go in for an archers here. Archer split. And he has three. So I need to go for my wall breaker. Uh, wall breaker that he will most like just use Barbarian Brawl. So it's time for me to use my Mighty Miner. Okay, Mighty Miner is coming down. I think I'm also going to use the ability here. Why not? Just knock it back. He doesn't really have too much against the Miner. So this should be... Really good, so I just kind of want to wait until the, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go Minor Poison here, honestly. Why not? Minor Poison's coming down. The good thing is soon I have another Poison hand, so nothing really we need to worry about. I'm just gonna go for another Poison here. And also the Archer will hopefully kill this Phoenix. And if not, like, completely, at least, hopefully, almost. I'm just gonna go for my Lock here. Really good lock. We still defended that. And I feel like the situation isn't really too good. I kind of don't really want to use defensive poisons type of matchup. Um, I'm just going to go for the Mighty Miner here. Poison. Okay, really good defense. I'm just going to go for Wall Breaker. I'm just going to use the ability hopefully in time. Yeah, with this ability, it was an, abs it was an absolutely crazy build to be fair. I'm just going to go for the lock here. And I mean, the only real thing which is kind of annoying me in this type of situation is um, that he still has a Mighty Miner on the map, so he kind of has like a free free card cycle. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my Bomb Tower here, I'm just gonna go for my Goblins, just make sure that hopefully that the Bomb Tower does a splash work, as he did right now. Use also the ability, I'm just gonna go for another Mighty Miner here. And I'm just gonna go in for my Miner. Miner's coming down. I'm also going to use an ability here, really good ability. I'm just going to go in for my lock here. I'm also going to go for my goblins here. Perfect defense, cannot complain. Poison on the tower. Mighty Miner still on the map. Uh, Miner in the back. Let's go, Miner's coming down. I'm also going to go for archers here. I mean for, not for archers. I'm just going to go in here for my... Mighty Miner ability, going for a wall against the bridge, and the game is over, and you guys you guys felt like, okay, I might just lose this one. I didn't play well at the start, but Miner Poison Triple is undefendable, guys. Mm. 
Here we go, guys. Next game. And we're just going to go for defensive minor here. Like, just a solid position. Like, if I go goblins in the bag, like, I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable just going goblins in the bag. And if I would have had goblins to play, or I had to play, or wanted to play goblins out of the band, I had to leak a bit. So, it's time for me to go in for my good old mighty minor here. Hopefully, really comfortable going in there just to provide some volume. And he just drops this, so it seems to be like a really interesting um, Packer deck. Surely it's Packer, but... Okay, I guess we're just gonna go for Miner here. I can just go easily go in for my... Um, for my Goblins. He just goes in Arrows, which is fine. My Goblins are still counter-pushing, so Goblins are going his way. Which is good. Hopefully the Goblins will get some steps. Not really, so that's unfortunate, but... We are alright, we are alright. So, what's the next play? I guess just Archer splitting. And this is the great thing about this deck. I just feel like sometimes um, I'm kind of getting annoyed by like heavier decks with the cycle. But here, you can always play something. You can just always Archer split. Archer split is like one of the best plays in Clash. It's also the main reason why Archers are broken, right? You can always split them and it's not a bad play. What are you gonna do? If they like use a Lava on a, one Archer, you're just gonna play Mighty Mine in front of the other Archer and just pressure them completely opposite lanes. So, I'm just gonna go for my Wall Burger here. Mm. Honestly, that was really expensive commitment from him since now we can just go in for Mighty Miner here. Mighty Miner will kill the bandit, Mighty Miner will kill the ghost, Mighty Miner still needs to be or needs to be respawned. So I'm just gonna go for my archers here, I'm just gonna go for Miner in the back. He most likely will arrow that, but arrows won't be enough, so. I guess, I, I, I guess I'm just gonna go for poison here, like why not? Um, oh, also the one archers connected to tower, let's go! And I'm just gonna go for the archers like this. Archers will spit up. Um, I'm just gonna go for minor wall breaker. Good minor placement. He goes in for that. I don't really agree with this decision. Oh, he missed the zap. Oh, he's dead. What? Man, like normally you get, you get, you should get punished for this type of mistakes. I'm just gonna go for my bomb tower here. I'm just gonna go in for this here. I'm just gonna go for my goblins. Please, Bomb Tower, stay alive. Okay, that were really bad arrows. Um, good defense. I mean, he might get some damage there, but it's fine. I'm just gonna go for the lock here. He didn't even need that, to be fair. So I'm just gonna go for my miner, uh, Mighty Miner here. Okay, I kinda got delay on that, which is unfortunate. I'm just gonna go for another Miner in the back. Uh, I'm just gonna go in for this here. I hope the Goblins will finish that off. So I don't need to respond to it anymore, and we do get a... No, we don't get a connection, but at least he still has to zap the Mighty Miner, so that's good. Um, I'm just gonna go for my Goblins here. It's time to go in for Minero a la Morton Royale. Uh, and the Miner's, uh, Miner's on the tower, I can just go for Poison here, and this game is over. GG's, well played. Next game here versus Lucas. So I'm just gonna go for my Goblins here and let's keep up the winning streak. Let's be unbeatable. So I'm just gonna go for my World Breakers here at the bridge. Honestly, World Breaker do, the, do a good job here. Also, since one of them is connecting. So I'm just gonna go for my Mighty Miner here. Making for sure. I'm making sure that the Mother Witch is in tower range. We're getting defended. Okay, I'm just gonna go for Archers here. I'm just gonna go for a Miner. Okay, good thing is now the miner will get a ton of trip damage. Oh, please, please. What the heck is my miner? Oh, my miner. Uh, miner, hello, miner, what are you doing? Why are you like. Okay, that's us. Um, so, I guess I might just go in for my wall breaker here to kite the G Skelly. And then I'm just gonna go Archer Split. Archer Split the Reno. Didn't really work out, so I still need to go log. If it's on tower, I'm just gonna retire. Okay, I knew it. So I'm just gonna go for my Miner here. I'm just gonna go for my Gorbos. Let's see, how's he gonna stop this? He's just gonna go for Iowa. So I'm just gonna go instantly gonna Wall Breaker there at the bridge since, yeah. I don't know, is the Mother Witch coming in early? Yeah, the Mother Witch is like really sold against Wall Breaker since when the Mother Witch is killing one of the Wall Breakers, the Piggy is gonna boost back the other Wall Breaker. I don't know if you guys saw that, guys. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that, guys. Perfect. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that, but the one Piggy boosted the Wall Breaker a bit back, so. I just like bought the tower and the mother which more time to defend that. Okay. I'm just gonna go in for the lock here. 
And I guess I'm just gonna go for my bomb tower. Bomb tower is coming down, hopefully. Doing a pretty safe job. Um, now I'm just gonna go for minor plus wall breaker here. I mean, if the RG gets one shot, I'm completely fine with that. He still needs to go out that. And if it, every time he goes in for arrows on top of this push, my miner will still get some significant damage. Tower goes down below 1.9k. So I'm just gonna go for archers. Hmm. Gobos. And I guess this is just like this is a time where we're gonna poison, bro. I didn't. I just went for bro. That was. I don't know about that, my friend. I don't really know about that, that my friend. So, look at this tower, man. He gave me way too much poison. Well, you can just go for another archers here. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go for my Mineo in the back. Bomb tower. And. Mighty in a mighty here. And the mighty is doing an awesome job with the bomb here. I'm just gonna go goblins here. I'm also gonna go for a log. Log is coming down, and I know it's over. He knows it's over. Poison the tower. GG's well played. Here we go, guys. Next game versus Death. Good luck to him, and let's see what Death does. So I know this guy is a really, really good uh, Greybeard Freeze player. So he plays a different version than the first guy. He plays like a Greybeard Freeze, like splash yet version with the, uh, with the Golden Knight with Bowler. So a ton of like um, splash tubes. Um, with the Zep is also in there. Most likely the reason for that is just to have like a reset against Mighty Miner because otherwise like Bowler, Golden Knight, really a ton of Mighty Miner value. I guess we're still gonna use the ability here. Why not? Maybe one of the Zep he gets distracted, which would be absolutely insane. And I think we're just gonna go in for my Mineo here. Okay, so Wolver gets the bridge. I mean, he could go for potentially Tornado, but he messed it up. And this is one of the interactions you need to learn. I think, like, maybe I should, I'm gonna show... <coughs> Sorry, guys. And uh, maybe I'm gonna show in one of the next videos um, the perfect positioning for the... Um, Tornado, you can activate both wall breaker flawless. And this is just like an important interaction to learn. Since if you activate the King Tower like without taking any damage, this puts me as a minor wall breaker player in a really annoying position. So, really good archers to be fair. Um, I also kind of want to lock this. Okay, so I'm just going to go for my bomb tower here. Good bomb tower. I mean, he could use a dash, but I don't really care, guys. I don't really care. I'm just going to go for my goblins. So I don't really know if that was that good from him since like he gets some damage, yeah, but he also has like a defend, he has to defend this kind of big of a counter push. Oh, and he messed up, he messed up the executioner. He is so low on Elixir. I'm just gonna go for Mighty Mine, the bridge. I'm just praying. I'm just praying for him to like do the wrong decision. I'm just gonna go for my Archer's Noid, the bridge. I know he could tornado that, so I'm just gonna go Archer's here. We won the game straight up. Now and he is just really mad. Um, I mean, is he mad at me? Because he should be mad at his, himself, right? Like he messed up um, at the start. Way, way, way too much committing um, against the wall breaker um, with a tornado messing that up and then just going for really over aggressive graveyard. I was like letting some damage go to just absolutely destroy him in the counter push, and I think we did a great job there. So I'm just gonna go in for my archers here. For sure, my main, like, if he goes in for Zeppis, at example, I need to, like, poison the Zeppis. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for poison the Zeppis here. I'm also gonna go for a lock here, honestly. I don't really just wanna, I don't wanna mess around there. I'm just gonna go for my archers here. I'm now just gonna go in for my Goblin's time, just to make sure he doesn't get any value. And we're winning this one. GG's well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to subscribe to, to the channel, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace for watching, and I love you guys. Goodbye.